The moment Palpatine first came across Anakin, sensing his exceptionally powerful connection to the Force, was the moment he decided that the young boy was going to be his final Sith apprentice and his right-hand man once he became Emperor of the Galaxy. In order to ensure that Anakin was going to join him once the time came, Palpatine had to develop a unique relationship with him, one that allowed him to manipulate the forthcoming Jedi and slowly drive him away from the Order's ways. One way he did this was to take Anakin away from the confined bubble of the Jedi Temple and show him what his Jedi Masters did not want him to see, the true grim reality of the galaxy, a reality that he wanted to convince the boy that the Jedi had allowed to exist. When Anakin was only in his early teens, Chancellor Palpatine requested the Jedi to allow him to take Anakin with him on a personal errand. Although reluctant to do so, the Jedi obeyed the request and sent the boy to him. Both disguised in robes, Palpatine and Anakin made their way to Coruscant's subsurface level 2685. When they arrived, Anakin asked why they were there. Palpatine told him that as Chancellor, he believed it was his duty to frequently visit these impoverished areas of Coruscant as a means to witness the poor as they lived in darkness. He explained the awful living conditions these people lived through, and how most of them were likely to live their entire lives without ever making it to the surface of the planet and seeing the sky. That it was so bad here that many in these lower levels believed the sun to be a myth. He continued by stating that those before him in the Chancellorship simply ignored these dreaded conditions and that he refused to follow their path. So he frequently came to these lower levels to see what he was elected to fix and help those in need whenever he could. They then finally made their way to the club known as Kasakar, where they seated themselves at a booth. Once they settled down, it was time for Palpatine to start what he really came here to do, plant the first seeds of doubt and deception into Anakin. He first began by thanking Anakin for taking the time out of his busy schedule to accommodate him on this errand, and that he was quite envious on the young Padawan, on how the Jedi had already planned out his entire life for him, that he was lucky to not have to make any troubling choices in his life, Anakin agreed, saying it was the best thing that ever happened to him, though perhaps never seeing it that way. Never seeing that he didn't have any choices of his own while training to become a Jedi. Palpatine then changed the subject by mentioning how wretched of a place this was, how everyday lives were bought and sold at this very club. He then realized how he shouldn't have mentioned that, knowing Anakin's past as a slave, but Anakin was fine with it, only not understanding why such revolting behavior was allowed by the Senate. Palpatine then explained that the Senate approved of such behavior as the very club they were in was filled with senators. He then revealed one of them, a senator named Colandris, who was notoriously corrupt, treating the senate gig as a personal bank account for himself and his cronies. He then mentioned how the senator frequently came here to gamble, and how he so wished that the chance cubes he was currently betting on would turn against him and make him lose a vast amount of his money. And then that very thing happened, as the senator rolled his dice only to find out that they had ended up making him lose all his money on the bet he placed. Realizing what Anakin had done, Palpatine burst out laughing out loud, attracting the attention of the angered senator as a result. The outraged senator then came to their booth with a few of his bodyguards, demanding they explain what they found so funny. In an attempt to avoid a fight, Palpatine told him that his son had made a joke that he found very funny and that they were just on their way out of the club. The senator calmed down, telling them to make sure that they do just that. Once outside, Palpatine asked Anakin about his Jedi abilities and whether or not he could use them to move a chance cube. They then looked at each other, both knowing what Anakin had done back there, and then moved on with their walk, with Palpatine being outwardly happy with what the young Padawan had done back there. When they came back to the Chancellor's office, Anakin proclaimed how amazing their little adventure was. They then started to discuss about that corrupt senator they came across, and whether or not anything can be done to bring him to justice for his crimes. Palpatine explained that in his current position of power, there was very little he could do to bring such a person to justice, and that even the Jedi didn't have that power when Anakin asked about them. For that was just how things worked in the present state of the Galactic Republic, and there was nothing they could do about it. After asking Anakin to not mention their little adventure to his masters, Palpatine asked him one more question. Was he happy at the Jedi Temple? Anakin told him that it was everything he ever wanted, but Palpatine knew he was lying. He then told the young Padawan that there was always a place for him at his side, and that he would make an extraordinary ally to him once he had completed his training. And thus the first seeds of doubt and deception had been planted into Anakin, which would only sprout and grow over the years as Palpatine continued their relationship and cement the boy to his side against the Jedi. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lore Master.
Be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars lore videos like these in the future. And may the Force be with you.